Nor, Nurse, nor Sydney has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Urban Infrastructure. Will the Minister update the House? Will the Minister update the House on the Coalition's record on delivering infrastructure projects across the nation, including for residents in Benelong and neighbouring communities? Is the Minister aware of any alternative approaches? The Minister for Urban Infrastructure. Uh, well, I do thank the member for North Sydney, who of course is a very strong champion of infrastructure and has very considerable expertise in infrastructure. And he's right to say that the Turnbull government is delivering infrastructure all around the country and certainly working closely with the Berejiklian government in New South Wales. For example, $412 million going into North Connex, $1.5 billion into West Connex, plus a $2 billion concessional loan, $1.7 billion going into Sydney Metro City and South West. And of course, all of these will benefit the electorate of North Sydney. Uh, they'll also benefit the electorate of Bradfield, for example, uh, people travelling uh, uh, the electorate of Benelong, I should say, people travelling through the M2, along the M2, uh, through the electorate of Benelong, will then have better access using North Connects. And of course, as metro-style services, four minutes turn up and go, come to stations like Macquarie Park, Macquarie University, and North Ryde. That will deliver enormous benefits to the people of Benelong. And so too will the commitment made by the Turnbull government jointly with the Berejiklian government to spend $100 million on a new bus interchange at the Macquarie University station. And John Alexander, as the Liberal candidate for Benelong, has been a very strong champion for that project and for addressing the needs of his electorate, including a reduction in congestion. Now, of course, uh, there are some uh, others who are putting their names forward meekly to serve the people uh, in Benelong. One of them, it must be acknowledged, does have a big transport project on her CV, the Sydney Metro, where she spent almost $500 million. What? That's, that's quite impressive. But unfortunately, the $500 million was spent to cancel the project. That is the track record of, the, uh, of Christina Keneally, the Labor member, the Labor candidate, the Labor candidate, uh, and of course the former premier, the former premier of Labor premier of New South Wales, whose distinguished track record when it comes to public transport was to cancel was to cancel the Sydney Metro. Now, of course, desperately in the 2010 election, they re-announced Parramatta to Epping. And here's what somebody said on election night, August 2010. Quotes, I think given the on-again nature, on again, off again nature of transport commitments in this city, we are battling uphill to convince the people of the credibility of that commitment. Who said that? That was the Labor candidate, Maxine McHugh, the failed Labor candidate for Benelong, Telling the truth in 2010, telling the truth in 2010 about the failure of Labor's rail. You cannot trust Labor. You cannot trust Christina Keneally. But I'll tell you who you can trust. You can trust John the Alexander. Minister.